My dearest Kaori Aria Blue, from the day you were born, you captured our hearts with an infectious smile that soon developed into the warmest hug. I used to remind myself that the day would come when I would find myself missing you, the little girl who would sing around the house or write plays for others to perform, the girl who was at times so hungry but unable to decide what she was hungry for, the girl who adores her baby sister. My dearest Kaori, I appreciate your integrity, your passion, and your love for Jesus. I expect great things from you, not great as defined by a world drunk on its own materialism, but great on a deeper level as we navigate through this newfound world of a pandemic and for revolution for black lives really do matter. And though they say all lives matter, right now we're focusing on the lives that doesn't seem to matter as much to those in power. And that's why we focus on black lives matter. I expect you to live truthfully, to face your imperfections head on, to be real and authentic in your relationships, I expect you to call home. I'll close with some guidelines. Rule number one, life is not fair. Get used to it. Rule number two, always treat people with respect and be nice to everyone, but don't be a pushover and don't take anybody's shit either. Rule number three, Maintain balance in your life. Balance is key, but balance isn't the definition which we mostly think of because it's a state of homeostasis. Some things need more focus than others at times, but maintain balance throughout it all. Rule number four, always keep your personal integrity. It defines who you are, and you're a Ravenel, and you're a Blue. But most importantly, you are you. Rule number five, do something with your career that you're passionate about. I appreciate that you're following your dream. Stay focused. Stay pinpoint accurate on it. But always remember to explore other options as sometimes the passion does not manifest into what you want it to be. But be what you want it to be. Make it what you want it to be. Navigate the world differently if it doesn't navigate the way you think it will. Choose alternative paths to get to where you want to go. And rule number six, never let money be the motivator for what you decide to do. Success is determined by how you contribute to making someone else's life better. My dear Kaori, Today is one of the best days of our lives. You have exceeded our highest hopes and dreams. Thank you for bringing so much joy into our lives. With all my love, I love you, Dad.
everything that, that I need to live a bountiful life and all the love inside. <laughs> Good. Inside of me, I'm standing as tall as the tallest tree and I'm thankful for every day that I'm living both the easy and hard ones I'm living but most of all I'm thankful for loving who Hey girl. Um, my dog's probably gonna start barking and I really don't remember what what those questions were and honestly I don't really listen to Kalisha. Um, but I wanted to tell you that I'm very proud of you. I'm excited. I do know that you are going to do great things with your life. Um, if there was something that I wanted to tell you I want to tell you to stay focused I want to tell you um not to be so consumed about you know don't be don't stress I don't want you to stress I just want you to do your best there's more to life out here than just trying to get a name for yourself and being popular and things of that nature I know that's pr pretty much what we push um but it's really not about that I want you to maintain your integrity I want you to live a life that people can actually respect I want you to be a good example. I want you to live out the purpose that God has for you. I want you to be safe everywhere you go. I want you to make good decisions. Stay away from boys. They're at your age. They're, none of them are any good. So do your work, little girl. Um, try your best. Don't get caught up in everything, Kara. Don't try to go to Georgia State trying to be everybody's friend. You know, focus. You understand me? Focus, girl. Um, I love you. I'm proud of you. And I expect great things from you. You have my number. Call me, text me. I'm here. Got your back, girl. Bye. Hey, Kaori. Mr. Reggie here to say congrats on your graduation and to wish you the best in whatever you decide to do. So take over the world, young lady. We're proud of you. Peace and God bless. Congratulations, KRE. Congratulations. Congratulations. Hey, KRE. It's your big cousin, Stacia.
If you happen to hear some little boys screaming in the background, Bryce has some friends over, so just ignore them and focus in. Um, I'm so excited to celebrate you and this huge accomplishment of graduating. Um, when I think about the things that I admire the most about you, it's your unique, humble, and tenacious spirit. As unique as your name, Kaori Blue, is that your desire and drive to do the things that make you smile. You walk in your truth and you honor who you are in everything that you do. It doesn't matter if it's something that everyone else is doing. If it's the things that make you smile, then that's what you're gonna do and you do them well. You present yourself with the humbleness. Your kind spirit eludes from you as you walk into a room. You talk through a smile. And when you talk, you make others smile. And your tenacity falls in line with the tenacity of all of the women before us and their blood runs through our veins. There isn't a goal, there isn't a task, there isn't anything that you have set your mind to do that you haven't accomplished. So today is no big surprise. And in the midst of a pandemic, you're still working it and being your unique, humble, and tenacious self. I couldn't be more proud to say that's my cousin. I remember holding you when you were just a baby and here you are now, a beautiful young lady walking across the stage, taking on this first milestone of graduation. I am proud of you, I love you, and I'm excited about continuing to celebrate you. Congratulations. Hey Kaori, congratulations on your graduation. I'm so proud of you for accomplishing this major milestone in your life. Just keep doing great things. I'll be cheering you on, supporting you in any way that you need. Um, what I admire the most about you is just your loving and your happy spirit. It's just it warms my heart every time I see you. You've just grown into a beautiful, amazing young lady. Keep doing great things. Keep standing firm on what you believe in. Keep just being outgoing and chasing those dreams. Um, I love you. Again, congratulations, and keep up the amazing work. Hi, Kaori. Congratulations. Congratulations. We are so excited for you. I know it's different but we wanted to send you this special message. You're such a brave, brilliant, beautiful young lady. And we could not let this special time get away without, without us saying something. Okay, one thing I want to say, and I'm quite sure you don't remember this at all, but when you were a little girl, India was just born and Uncle Gene and I came and picked up you and Corey and took you with us to Myrtle Beach to hang out with Aunt Betty, Uncle Terry, Tia, and Brandon. And the entire time that we were driving up to Myrtle Beach, you kept saying, oh, I can't wait to get in the water. I just can't wait to get in the water. And we said, okay, great, because we're going to have a lot of fun and Terry and Tia love to be in the water. So we get to Myrtle Beach. You put on your bathing suit, we go out on the beach, and all of the waves start coming in, and you said, I'm afraid of the water, I'm afraid of the water, I don't want to go in the water, and I said, oh no, you're going in the water, we travel for two hours, and all you talked about was going in the water. Well, that's not the young lady you grew up to be, because you grew up to be this daring, brave person that's always ready to do something. Your class is the innovative class. You're the future. And I just look forward to all that your class is going to do. Now, one thing I wanted to say to you, and I wrote it down because I didn't want to forget. And that is to remember that your voice always matters, always. Even when someone tries to silence you, you just remember the three R's. 
and that's research, <laughs> respect, and revisit because you're not going to be silent when it's something that matters. And I want you to remember the words of Dr. King, one of, of course, my favorite persons. And what he said about silence is that there comes a time when silence is betrayal. Our lives begin to end the day we become silent about things that matter. In the end, we will remember not the words of our enemies, but the silence of our friends. Continue to move forward, Kaori. Peace. <laughs> of course, you're going to come back. Remember, everything you say and do matters. Remember to look people right in the eye, to always walk upright and do not shake anyone's hands. Congratulations, Kaori. Congratulations, Kaori. Kaori Donnell. <laughs> yeah. Hello, Kaori. This is Uncle Gene. Just want to give you your uh, graduation um, accolades for all your accomplishments. So, I'm going to start with saying, you have one of the most beautiful smiles, along with such a inviting personality. You're always willing to help and show how thankful you are for anything a person does for you. These are very special qualities. You are, that you're so welcome and will propel you and they will propel you to greater heights in everything you do going forward. You will be successful throughout your life as long as you remember these three things. Education never ends. Always show respect to all people you you interact with. Keep all the excellent qualities that you have shown to date. Again, congratulations on this step. We look forward to celebrating many other steps as you go through life, through life's journey. Congratulations. Congratulations. Hello, my beautiful niece, Kaori. Congratulations for your graduation. I love you so much. The best memory I have of you is when you came to our house for Christmas and we sang the Prince song. Remember when we sang When Doves Cry and we had such a great time? I miss you so much. I wish I could be there for you. I'm very proud of you and I love you and I hope everything happens the way you want it to be and I know you're going to be successful. You're just as smart as your mother and my brother because he's so smart and he gave you all of those things that made you smart as well. You're beautiful. You're smart. I wish I could be there with you so bad. I love you. Congratulations again. Hey, Kaori, I just wanted to tell you congratulations. Um, I hope you achieve many more in the future. Congratulations, Kaori, for graduating class of 2020. That is a big deal. I would have to say personally, the favorite memory that I have is when you would come over anytime during the summer when we were kids and we would play with our toys, which is always a good time. Um, I am so excited to see your future and how you succeed and grow throughout the years. Again, congratulations, and I hope you have a really good time. Hi, Kaori. Hey, this is your Uncle Ronnie. Just taking a moment to congratulate you. Graduating class of 2020. All right, man, this one's going down for the record books. I know this, uh, this whole thing isn't quite what you had in mind. At least, at least it's not what I had in mind for you. But um, we're going to try and make this work. As you can see, I got all dressed up for you, or, well, semi-dressed up. Pretty sure you're over at the house doing the same. But uh, no real talk for a moment. Uh, 
One thing I admire most about you is that you are a very kind, very caring person. Uh, that tender nature is something I can speak to because quite honestly, it reminds me of myself more than, more than anything. Uh, so from personal experience, what I can tell you, what you're going to notice is that people are going to be more genuine with you as in, they're going to let their guard down a lot more and be real with you. And with that said, you, you really don't want or need any more fake friends. You got, I mean, there's too many fake people out there. From experience, trust me. Uh, so my advice uh, as a graduate is to just be you, just do you for now. Uh, I don't think you realize this yet, but this is probably one of the biggest moments of your life. At least it was for me. Uh, graduating was probably one of the best days simply because I didn't have to do anything I didn't want to do anymore. <laughs> I mean, with that said, I, I mean, I still had responsibilities, but I mean, I got to pursue work the way I wanted to. I got to do college the way that I wanted to. And I actually felt like I just started living right when I graduated. So, but anyways, I know you do just fine out there. I'm proud of you, girl. I love you. Uh, so you just keep being you. And since you didn't get to hear me at the auditorium. Yeah, Kaori! Woo! 2020, all right! <laughs> love you girl congratulations kate ori for graduating class of 2020 i feel like time flew by so fast i feel like we were just kids and i remember when you used to come over during christmas time and during the summer and we would play barbies together and i just can't believe you're already graduating and i know you're gonna do big things and adulthood is hard but i know you're gonna make it trust me if you ever need any advice, you got me on Instagram, you can text me, but congratulations again. Hello, Cara. I want to say congratulations on your recent graduation. This is Valerie Bailey with Keller William Realty. I want to wish you a happy, successful year in college. Enjoy your summer and go at it hard just like you did before. Wishing you much, much success. Hey, Kate Ori, this is your cousin Bree. Congratulations on graduating high school. We're all so proud of you and we hope to see you guys soon so we can celebrate. <laughs> hey, Kate Ori, it's your favorite cousin in here, you know, CJ. And uh, I'm making this quick video to let you know that um, I love you so much. And I wanted to say congratulations on finishing up your 12 years of school. School. you know it means a lot to me because i look up to you as like a bigger sister not as like a cousin so um yeah i just want to thank you for everything you did for me you know congratulations once again for finishing up these 12 years now let's go and make these next four years something to remember hey kaori i'm proud of you for graduating and are you going to college? Because if you do, you're going to do a great job. Love you. Bye. Hey, Kaori. Congratulations. You made it 12 long years. You only have a few more to go. And I know you can do it. I love you. And then I love our baby. Bye. Hey Kaori, congrats on your graduation. I'm excited that you're starting this new chapter of your life, even if the circumstances aren't the best. I know that you will make the best of them. Um, it has been delightful to work with you and learn with you over the years. You have so much potential. Um, you are knowledgeable and capable and talented, and I wish you the best. Hey Kaori, it's Mr. Taylor. Um, I hope you are having a wonderful summer. I know this, this coronavirus was not how we wanted to spend it and not the way you wanted to go out with your senior year, but hey, you did some amazing things this year that you should be extremely proud of. Um, your class will always hold a special place in my heart um, for being not only the first um, class to take home a region winning one act, but just you guys are also special because you're kind of where it all started for me with Once on this Island. And I will always remember your positive light and on and off the stage, you just light it up. And um, I'm really gonna miss you, Kaori. Um, you're such a great leader and you're really what it means, to, you, you embody what it means to be a thespian. And I appreciate you so much. Um, I hope you have the best um, years to come and I look forward to seeing what God has in store for your future. So best of luck. 
Hey Kaori, this is Miss Waits. Um, I just want to take a minute to say congratulations and that I'm so proud of you. Um, what I admire most about you is your quiet strength and determination. You're an awesome young lady and I know you'll go far. So proud of you. Hey Kaori, this is Miss Waits. Um, I just want to take a minute to say congratulations and that I'm so proud of you. Um, what I admire most about you is your quiet strength and determination. You're an awesome young lady and I know you'll go far. So proud of you. Hi, Kaori. Hi, Kaori. You did it, girl. Congratulations. Congratulations. <laughs> we are proud of you. We are really, really happy for you, girl. Just wanted to say that I love you and I'm proud and keep on doing your thing, making us all proud and yeah. being a beautiful black queen that you are. Yes and keep being your creative self and just keep following your heart and kicking down those doors for black women because you are a badass. You right. And we gotta do what you rock and just keep on rocking. <laughs> Hey, Carrie, man, this your home, man. This is Shelton, baby. Love you, man. Very, very, very proud of you and your accomplishments, man. You're, you're a beautiful young lady, girl. You got the world ahead of you. Uh, don't let nobody tell you what you can't do. Uh, you do what you got to do to be the successful young lady that you're going to be. I'm, I'm excited to see what more you got to offer in life. But, hey, for now, congratulations on your wonderful graduation. I love you. I'll always be here for you. And again, just love you, girl. Keep it up. Keep up the good work and keep doing what you're doing. Love you, baby. Bye.